Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you how to use the clone stamp. This is a great feature because you can take any image off the internet and if there's something in that image that you want to take the words out, perhaps they use somebody else's name, you can get rid of all of that. It's also great if you have an X in a photograph that you really don't want in there anymore. You can now easily clone stamp them right out of there and uh, their whole portion will be gone and all you'll be left is the background of the photograph. It's really fun to play with. So here is an image file that I took off the internet and when I move it around you can see that there are no cut lines. This is a text that I typed using the text box. I want to put this inside of this um, this sign that this little cute pig is holding, but it's really hard to do because inside the sign we've got the words happy birthday. So I don't want those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the clone stamp and I'm going to remove the words happy birthday. And to do that all you do is you click on your image so it is selected with these little black boxes. Because it is an image file and it has no cut lines, you need to go to the top and click on the word image. Anytime you're working with an image file, you click on image. You're going to click on clone stamp. And now we can bring this down over here. You've got the dimensions, which would be the circular size of this, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you've got the blur brush. Now, if I were to use the blur brush, I could start blurring out this individual over here, and I could make the blur brush even bigger and deeper. I don't want to use the blur brush, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this and I'm going to use this brush over here, which is the uh, the clone brush. Well, the, yeah, the clone brush. What you do is you just click on the area you want to use. And as you can see, I've got this huge circle and I've got this cross in the middle. Anything that's in this circle will get transferred to the brush. And just let me give you an example. I'm going to put his eye in the circle and I'm just going to start drawing with my brush. And as you can see, wherever the circle goes, that is what the end result is on the other side of my brush. Now this looks pretty horrible, so I'm just going to click on undo so you can see what I'm basically explaining to you. Um, we're going to take this circle and we're going to make it much smaller. I'm going to make it about the size of 10 in dimension and I'm going to move it by clicking on it with the left mouse button, holding it down, letting it go and placing it where I want it to be. Now I can click anywhere on my image that I no longer want and as you can see whatever is under this red circle with the cross is now gone. I'm sorry, is now being transferred to my paintbrush. So the letters that I was playing with, they're now gone. And I just can keep clicking on that. And the reason I'm clicking on it as opposed to brushing it is when I start clicking on it, this circle kind of stays where it needs to be. As soon as I start moving, you're going to see, I'm just going to undo that, you're going to see that the brush and the circle are moving and I have to be very careful that the circle doesn't touch anything because if it does, that's going to be what gets transferred to my paintbrush. So once this is, oh, there you go, see? Once this is almost done, I'll just do a little bit more over here. I can now easily click on the select element button click on the word piggy please and I can place this in my sign and now I can easily do a print and cut and that is one way of using the clone stamp. If you have any questions please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca